The James Webb Space Telescope of NASA gave us the most thorough views of the cosmos ever last month. The JWST camera's extraordinary images were, to put it mildly, breathtaking. In new images sent by the space telescope, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, and its moons can now be seen in incredibly fine detail. NASA has released pictures from the space mission's instrument initial trials. The images demonstrate that the JWST is capable of capturing even the minute details in space, including extremely bright objects that are near the Earth. The images, which include images and spectra of several asteroids, as well as images of Jupiter, were taken to test the telescope's instruments before the start of science operations. We'll talk more about these stunning images of Jupiter if you stick around. Let's take a closer look. Fans of Jupiter will be familiar with these pictures of Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, as they were captured by Webb's infrared camera. The Great Red Spot, an Earth-sized storm, and distinct bands that circle the planet can be seen in the short wavelength filter of the NIRC CAM instrument. The recognizable spot in this image appears white because of how Webb's infrared image was edited. According to Brian Holler, a scientist at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore who helped plan these observations, these images of Jupiter display the full range of what Webb is able to see, from the faintest, most distant, observable galaxies to planets in our own cosmic backyard that you can see with the naked eye from your actual backyard. They display the full range of what Webb can see when combined with the deep field images that were published just two weeks ago. The Webb spacecraft was set to launch on December the 25th, 2021, with the goal of investigating how the universe's first stars and galaxies formed. The infrared observatory, on the other hand, is a very adaptable tool that astronomers will use to investigate a range of cosmic objects and phenomena, including some in our own solar system. The Jupiter images show that the Webb telescope can clearly distinguish small details of Jupiter and its large moons thanks to its 21-foot wide mirror. Due to its instrument's capacity to gather light at infrared wavelengths, which are redder than visible light, the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been in operation for more than 30 years, has offered a different perspective. Europa, a moon with a likely ocean beneath its thick, icy crust, and the target of NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission, is clearly visible at the left. Also visible to the left of the Great Red Spot is Europa's shadow. Tebe and Metis are two additional moons that can be seen in these images. Stephanie Milam, Webb's deputy project scientist for planetary science based at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. I couldn't believe that we saw everything so clearly and how bright they were. The possibility and opportunity we have for observing these kinds of objects in our solar system is incredibly exciting to consider. We'll discuss some of the more fascinating discoveries made by NASA's Juno spacecraft if you stick with us through the end of the video. Scientists were especially interested to see these new images because they show that Webb technology is capable of observing satellites and rings close to bright solar system objects like Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars. Scientists will use Webb to look into the fascinating claim that we can observe material plumes erupting from moons like Europa and Saturn's moon, Enceladus. Webb might be able to make out the distinctive marks left by plumes that have dumped material on Europa's surface. Milam cited that as one of the solar system's coolest applications for this telescope. Even stranger, James Webb was able to move across its field of view and make three separate observations of it. In essence, this means that even when the telescope is close to a bright celestial body, like Jupiter, it is powerful enough to look for stars. Webb was also able to successfully capture a few of Jupiter's rings, which are particularly visible in the NIR CAM long wavelength filter image. According to Milan, it is absolutely incredible and amazing that the ring showed up in one of Webb's initial images of the solar system. Beautiful views of the entire disk of Jupiter were obtained using the narrow band filters. The telescope was actually designed to see the first stars and galaxies of the universe. We're going to be peering back at the infant universe. 
And even with these first images, we're already starting to get a glimpse of how powerful this observatory is. We have a series of, of galaxies in this image, and everything you see is something that's a distant object. But what was a very welcome surprise was the wealth of additional information about the incredibly faint objects in those images with about one minute exposures. Webb also captured these pictures of Jupiter and Europa crossing the telescope's field of view over the course of three observations. This test demonstrated the observatory's ability to find and track guiding stars near Jupiter's bright eye. But how quickly can a moving object be tracked online? This was an important question for asteroids and comets researchers. During commissioning, Webb started the moving target tracking speed limit tests using the asteroid 6481 Tenzing, which is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Mars served as the standard for Webb's object tracking because of its maximum speed of 30 billion miles per second. Several asteroids were observed by the Webb team during commissioning, and because they were all small, they all showed up as dots. The team showed that Webb will continue to receive useful data, even for objects moving up to 67 billionths of a second per second, which is more than twice the baseline. Jupiter appears to be a spinning world in breathtaking footage from the Juno spacecraft, much like photographing a turtle crawling when you're standing a mile away. As you watch this brand new video of Jupiter, hold on tight. This accelerated view depicts the perspective of NASA's Juno spacecraft on April the 9th, 2022, as it traveled only 250 miles above the gas giant clouds. The spacecraft reached a top speed of 131 miles per hour in relation to Jupiter during this, Juno's 41st flyby above the radiation-emitting planet. That is more than seven times faster than the International Space Station, which orbits the Earth at a speed that is roughly five times that of the crews of the Apollo missions as they departed for the Moon. The JunoCam instrument's raw images were used to create the vibrant images which officials uploaded to an image processing gallery so that citizen scientists could add their perspectives to the raw data. Although Jupiter was Juno's initial primary target, NASA authorized an extension of the mission's mandate in January 2021 to concentrate a little more intently on the planet's four large moons, especially Ganymede, Europa, and Io. Assuming it stays healthy, Juno will operate until September 2025, 